Yes, that's what a broken solar panel looks like. What exactly are we supposed to do with a broken solar panel? Are we still supposed to use it? Is this still functional? Can it produce some kind of energy? Can we still put it in our entire solar system configuration? Or should we just throw it away, trash it basically and get a brand new one? If you want to find out, then you definitely have to stick around. All right, so welcome back guys. And today you are in luck because we're talking about broken solar panel. Is this still useful? Does it still produce energy? Should we just trash it and throw it away? Or should we just uh, bring it back? What exactly are we gonna do with it? So when you have a broken solar panel, are you still supposed to connect it back with the rest of the fleet of the solar panel or you just throw it away? So we'll find out just in a bit. I'm still Ikenna from Smiling Sun. Everything solar installation, everything inverter installation, everything going green. All right, so if you haven't subscribed to this channel, then maybe you should, all right? <laughs> we would love to have you as part of this community, all right? And right after subscribing, click the bell icon so that we can notify you when we have fresh and brand new videos. Okay, so let's get right into it, all right? Let's talk about broken solar panels. How useful is it? Now, the people who are culprits or people who are very guilty about putting back a broken solar panel into the connections are usually installers. Now, this is a very age-long argument amongst installers. If the solar panel is broken, does it still work? Can I still put it back and use it and connect it with the other solar panels that I have to be able to complete my configuration? All right, so this argument has been raging on for a long time, but let's delve into it. All right, now the installer is very guilty about this. When they get on location or when they get on site and they're doing installation, whilst they're dragging the solar panel to the roof and it slips off and falls from that very high level and hits with a very huge impact on the floor, this is what happens the solar panel glass is shattered into bits but don't worry about it okay because what essentially happens is that this glass is going to break in very tiny glass fragments all right and that's because the glass is tempered all right so it's very thick and tempered glass so they know that this could happen and that's a very protective measure to ensure it doesn't hurt anyone around so but when you have a broken solar panel what exactly happens what are you supposed to do with it are you supposed to connect it back now when this situation happens and when you have installers um, with a broken solar panel the first thing they do out of impulse is to reach out to the wire at the back and they're going to get the negative and positive of this wire they will test it with this multimeter the moment the voltage reads they conclude that the solar panel is still working but that's absolutely wrong voltage reading does not determine that the health of the solar panel is still good all right now with that impact from that very high level the cells of the solar panel most definitely is affected and that will drive the efficiency of the solar panel really low okay so the efficiency of the solar panel is going to come low and now you know the average efficiency rate of every solar panel is to be around 22 percent all right and one important fact too to note is the fact that there's a reason why the glass is provided in the first place on the surface of the solar panel. The essence of the glass is to protect the cells, all right? To protect the cells from dust, to protect the cells from rain, that's water. Because if the water has, or the rain has access into the cell, or the dust has access into the cells, it is going to damage the cells, all right? So that's the essence of the glass. So when the glass is broken, the right thing to do is to remove the solar panel and replace it with a brand new one all right otherwise if you go ahead and install it with a low efficiency rate or the low output it's producing what is going to happen is it is going to drag the entire output of all the solar panels that you have all connected together but this is going to drop the efficiency of the solar panel very low and of course the output is going to be very low as well so it's going to do a disservice to the entire configuration that you have all the money you've invested in putting all the components in the solar system together so always make sure that when this happens when you find yourself in this situation because this could happen take for instance you have um you are doing a three series connection all right and you probably have like three three by five 
and you have like 15 solar panels and one must not short because if one shorts that means the 15 solar panels can go that means you would have to disconnect the two all right so i know how that feels it's some kind of a dilemma and you really need that one and you're in a location where you can't get one and it kind of makes you or induces you into trying to connect it back because you don't have an option but that's the wrong thing to do it's better to wait a day or two or get the solar back than having an entirely very messed up or very low output so when that happens make sure my friend that this solar panel is replaced all right and you get a brand new one all right guys that's the very much we got time for today all right i'm still Ikenna from smiling sun everything solar installation everything inverter installation everything going green and if you haven't subscribed kindly do because you're helping us to grow all right and we appreciate your support and also don't forget to click the bell icon so that we can notify you when we have fresh and brand new videos thank you guys so very much and god bless